Oh, that's that's the drum drums for a fuzz box, right? As I remember. Yes. That's so horrible. That's a drum. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just normally you'd think, no, it's horrible. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> was that your idea? Was that? No, that uh, a lot of the, you know that's that's driven by the artist a lot of the time. Right. Um, Oh, it just, mean, just seems to me so counterintuitive to yeah, what yeah. somebody like the kind of guys we are making records for years yeah. and years. You go, oh, yeah, I'll read that bit. Oh, there's a bit of distortion. I'll get rid of it. Whereas you've gone, oh, I like that. You know, yes. I like that. Uh, also, one of the things I've learned is with something like that, is turn it up. Yeah. Don't, don't, be, don't be shy. <laughs> don't, be, don't be afraid of it. Um, that was one of the things from working with Tricky and working right. with Streetback and, and, and yeah, bands. Yeah. Um, Going right back mm. is they they want to always want to try something different and make something you haven't heard before. Mm. And myself, I I don't want to make the same record every time. I always want to, you know, is it hard su- to surprise find, myself. Yeah, yeah, is it harder to find things you've not heard before? Yeah, yeah, it is. But it should be more. It should be easier these days. It should be. Um, one of the things I don't like doing is just falling back on the presets. Of, yeah. You know, um, one of the things we always did with Tricky, when we got a sound, we got a, a loop that worked and put it on tape, recorded it, and switched the sampler off. Right. And wiped. Never right. kept. Never did, kept it. Never oh, went right. back. So you never get to a point where, you know, on the next record you go, oh, we, that sound we had, yeah. we used that. As soon as you start doing that. Yeah. You just get everything gets a bit more. So was that a philosophy that you delete the sample or Yeah. yeah. Well it, it came from being in Jamaica with this sampler with yeah. a two second memory and no <laughs> floppy disks. <laughs> so we had to get into that that way of working. Into yeah. that way of working. Right. But it was something I read I think it was Eno, Brian Eno said yeah. about never you know, you, you start from start from nothing every time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've never understood people who have sample libraries because yeah, I've never, just, I've never used one ever. No, I haven't got one. You know, people used to have drum tapes, didn't they, with all their drum samples on a, on a yeah. quarter-inch tape? No, and I sort of made copies of other people's ones. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. No, even these days when I'm, you know, I must have put mics on a drum kit, uh, you know, a thousand and two thousand times over the years. Mm. But I, I always try and. To think, oh, what well, that one sounds like. Just try a different mic, try something. Because I just don't want to do the same thing every time. Yeah. I think if you get into a routine of thinking, oh, that works, and I'm going to do that every time. Mm. This is my method. Yeah. This is what I do. It just becomes a job. Then it's not. Yeah. Yeah. I might as well be pulling a lever in a in a factory. I, 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 or you know, it's nice to surprise yourself sometimes. I'll, I'll sort of rummage through a mic cupboard and find a mic and think, oh, try that on the snare. And sometimes you get one of my mics I've had uh, and used a few times is that little cheap AKG, you know, the D19s. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The really yeah. horrible, cheap little mic. The Ringo mic. Yeah. yeah. I've got one. Great yeah. on snares. Yeah. Because they compress like crazy. Yeah. There's, you know, a fixed amount they'll. Pass through and that, that's yeah. it. D nineteen C. Yeah, I think is what I've got. Yeah, great. So, right. Mine's got a two shell connector on the back of it. Like the oh yes, it hasn't yeah. even got a proper XLR. Oh. I've got a cable for it. You know, but yes, that's the one you always see those pictures of Ringo. Ringo's over it? his it's head. Yeah. Over it. yeah, sort of there. Yeah. <laughs> I just oh you know there's loads of old mics and bits and pieces. I, yeah, I just. Yes, you have lots it. of lots of knickknacks, haven't you? Knickknacks, yes. Uh, I think I've, and... I've come from a family of collectors. Yeah. My, my parents were antique collectors, oh, right. and uh, they always find old microphones and yeah. bits and pieces. So I'd always, from an early age, always had a house full of stuff, right. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just transferred it over here. Yeah. Yes.